nakukuha ito ngayong Sabado ng umaga ng muling magpakawala ng tubig. Ang magatdam. Ang tubig mula rito ang isa sa mga itinuturong dahilan ng paglubog ng mga probinsya ng Cagayan at Damn, look at this. November 9 nang magumpisang magpakawala ng tubig ang bagat dam bilang paghahanda noon sa typhoon. We should donate some relief goods. Yes, let's call the mayor of Alcala, Cagayan so that we can estimate how many relief goods we will donate. Okay. Good morning, Mayor Morales and Christine Buka from Metro Manila. My sister and I just hear the sad news on what is happening in Cagayan. So, we want to help by giving some relief goods to the people who were affected by the typhoon. That's a great help for us here, ma'am. Thank you very much. If you want to donate, then I will send you the exact location where you can send your donations. Okay, thank you, but I have a question, Mayor. Yes, what is it, ma'am? In what area is really affected by the typhoon? The area that is really affected is Centro Norte Poblacion. In Centro Norte Poblacion, um, I think we have a total of 1,300 people and each family consists of five members. Thank you so much, Mayor. I will call you again tomorrow for updates. So, we need to find out the number of families because we'll give the relief goods by household. Given Given that the barangay has a total of 1,200 people and has five members in each family. To find out the number of families in Centro Norte Poblacion, the formula will be total number of population divided by the number of families equals number of each member in the family. If we substitute the given values, it will be 1,300 divided by x equals 5. As you can see, this is a rational equation. We will multiply both sides by the LCD, which is x. So, it will be 1,300 is equal to 5x. We will then divide both sides by 5 and x will be equal to 1,300 over 5. After we divide, we will get 260. So, there are 260 families of Centro Norte Poblacion. So, we have a total budget of 195,000 pesos and we'll be giving out a total of 300 relief goods and each will be worth 650 pesos. So, since there are 260 families, to get the exact worth of relief goods given to each family, the function would be f of x is equal to worth of relief goods over number of families. Substituting the given values, the rational function will be f of x is equal to 195,000 over x. Since there are 260 families, 260 will be substituted to x, making the function f of x is equal to 195,000 divided by 260. Dividing the values f of x is equal to 750. Each family will receive 750 pesos worth of relief goods. Good morning, Mayor. The relief goods are on the way. The truck left at 4 a.m. and it's expected to arrive at 7 p.m. Thank you so much, ma'am. We are truly grateful. You're welcome, Mayor. Hello, ma'am. I already arrived in Centro Norte Poblacion, but I refueled the truck because I got lost in the middle of the road and drove a few kilometers more. Luckily, I still arrived on time. May I know how many kilometers more did you travel so that I can give you the right amount of additional payment? To get the additional distance that I have traveled, the formula that will be used is distance over speed is equal to time. Since the distance from Metro Manila to Centro Norte Poblacion is 300 kilometers, and I am expected to arrive at most 15 hours, the inequality will be 300 plus x over 30 is less than or equal to 15. Multiplying both sides by 30, we will get 300 plus x is less than or equal to 15 times 30. Multiplying 15 and 30, we will get 450. We will then use the addition property of equality, so x is less than or equal to 450 minus 300. 
And the final answer would be x is less than or equal to 150. So I traveled an additional distance of not more than 150 kilometers. So you traveled 150 kilometers more. Okay, sir, no problem. Thank you. I will give you the additional payment here. Thank you so much, ma'am. Good evening, ma'am. I just received the relief goods. I'm going to give this out tomorrow to the people. I want to thank you again for your kindness and generosity. You are very welcome, ma'am.